as you've heard, welcome back to Mario Kart Wii. Today, we are finishing up the 100cc cups, the courses, everything, with the last two retro cups available. It should be pretty intense, but we did really good with DK with the first two retro cups. Now we'll be moving on over here to Bowser. Yeah, yet another heavyweight character. He seems pretty intense with it. We'll start with the standard bike L, and we'll see what we might wanna change to after that. We'll go manual, and then I think right over here we have the Leaf Cup, which has Desert Hills, Bowser Castle 3, DK's Jungle Raceway, or Parkway, and Mario Circuit. Let's get going. So let's see how Bowser can handle these intense tracks with the angry, angry sun. We've had some interesting mixed experiences with 100cc so far. Sometimes we get destroyed, sometimes we destroy everyone. My goal right now, just to race through everything as well as I possibly can, and we'll see which side of, of things we'll land on this time. Okay, decent start, but running into Yoshi just immediately kills my speed. Not so good, but we start in the back. It's just sort of what happens. Bowser is so big you can barely even see the bike he's on. So. Bowser's like the heavyweight to end all heavyweights. We'll just try to catch up to everybody here and see if we can't get a, a good victory. Oh man, watch out for the, the pokey. Not getting any items just yet, but we're catching up a little bit. Once we actually build up speed, we're hard to stop. That's sort of the big thing. Okay, I got the fake question block. I'm just gonna put it right there, grab another item. Blooper's making it difficult to see, but I can scoop another one right there too. And now that we're in the lead, I'm just focused on pulling off as many drifts as possible and just really getting out there. So, whoa. Oh, okay, I thought I could get by that. That was just a little bigger than I thought. You know, I just gotta keep in mind that we're racing as a big character here. Avoiding obstacles is gonna take a little bit of extra, I guess, deliberate movements. Gotta handle with care. Okay. So, keep going through here. Just like that. Nice. I got a banana. Gonna hold on to this one as we wheelie through all of this, avoid more of the obstacles, and get some good drifts. This part can always be a bit stressful. Hitting these turns at the right angle is always super important, which with a bike, it's definitely easier. So zipping through that really well. Don't hit the fireball. They're throwing blue shells at me. They're jealous that I'm so far ahead. Then they might be able to catch up actually. Let's see. We're heading into the third and final lap, so things are assuredly gonna get more intense. Okay, come on, can I, give me a second here? <laughs> what was that? A blue shell, red shell, lightning, blue shell. There's so many items and a few seconds. It's fine now. We get through this turn. It's always important with those lava balls to pay attention to where the eyes are facing, because the eyes turn to whatever way they're going to jump to next. Whoa, that was a crazy trick by Bowser. <laughs> I don't know if I've seen that one. Press the moves there for sure. We got through this part super fast before, if I can do that again. There we go. Oh, that was really good. Watch out. Oh, not another three in just one race is insane. Not a, come on, please don't do this. Uh, I might not win. I, seriously, what? No way! What are you even doing in that situation? We were so far ahead. Oh, oh no! All right, well, that's a Mario Kart experience if I've ever seen one. We only get 10 points, but as long as I can bounce back in these next couple of races, maybe it'll be okay. I can't believe that. There's no way I could have had an item to protect myself because it got all blasted away. By the way, I was like too distracted about it. We are on Bowser Castle 3. It's home turf for Bowser. So hopefully we can do good here. We'll see. All right. Definitely got the good start there. Got it. okay, okay. If you say so. I got the mushroom now too. Definitely need to use that to get ahead here in a moment. And now that we're building up speed, Peach can't just bounce me away like that anymore. Really through this part. Got it. And then we gotta make sure we're doing a ton of tricks off of all these. I'm saving this mushroom for like a good time, which I think this straightaway would probably be, yeah, one of the better times to use it. 
Got a banana. I need to hold that out for as long as possible. There's that crazy jump again. I, I did not mean to do that. Whoops. <laughs> All right. Still sort of getting used to the, the Wii Classic controller. I've been using that for the last few cups. And it's nice. It's probably the best one I can get right now. But it's definitely a little bit of a different controller compared to like, you know, the Nintendo Switch Pro controller or something. So I accidentally click all, all of the wrong buttons. Okay, let's drift through this, or I guess wheelie through it. And then corner pretty well. I like to just do that. I feel like I just need to start throwing items out a little bit more often because we get hit by lightnings and power blocks and blue shells so often that I feel like the, the frequency at which I sort of guard for red shells isn't as important as just making sure the track is littered with a bunch of items that'll make it difficult for everybody else. I was able to scoop in there and grab that item behind the thwomp, and that's good. All right, going through here, big trick. Oh, got it. I was trying to make sure that if I pick up a new item, I drop the one I already have. So that the track gets a little bit harder for everybody behind me to maneuver. It's working out pretty well. We're heading into the last lap, but we've learned for the last track. That hardly means anything anymore. All right, come on. Final lap, feeling through. We haven't been hit by too many items, which has me really worried they're stockpiling them for this last, like, few turns. We'll see. Okay. Uh, don't squish me. Thank you for not squishing me. Ah, oh, there it is. <laughs> right before the jump. This game has by far been the most brutal when it comes to items. It's just never ending. But I'm getting through the, are you serious? I was kidding when I was talking about all that item stuff. Okay. Getting through here, it's the last turn now. Everybody is caught up with me. I somehow missed that, which is actually a huge issue. Wheeling through here, I need to try to make sure I get one of these items. I should, yeah, be able to get that one. Green shell, very nice. Drift through this. It's the last straight away. Throw the items out, throw the items out. Just anything I can get out there. Oh no, wrong way, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Come on, they're right behind me, but as long as I don't get hit by anything, I should be fine. Come on, please. There we go. We did it. <sighs> Bowser is pleased. I'm more so relieved. We are tied for first place with Princess Peach here, 25 to the both of us. Can we get ahead a little bit more in the next race? Here's open. So DK Jungle or DK's Jungle Parkway, this is a very exciting one. Back from Mario Kart 64. Lots of turns on this, so I should be able to drift through it pretty fast, but it's always sort of the question of how destroyed will I get by items? Got it. And we're just gonna go straight into drifting and wheeling as soon as I can. Get that banana out. Because as soon as I pick up an item, I know that means that everybody else is getting an item too, you know? Got it. Yeah, those turns are really nice because you just run up drifts so fast with bikes. And get one more over there until we go into the wheelie. Got it. Going through this part now. Ooh. Lots of crazy turns going on with this one. But I'm glad I'm getting a lot of the heavier weight characters out of the way sooner rather than later because even though this has been really tough, it only gets more difficult from here, right? So that's why I'm just sort of trying to focus on getting the characters I struggle with more out of the way while I'm, okay, get on the track, Bowser. <laughs> while I'm still in technically the easier levels. Yeah, don't hit me. Thank you. Finally a blue shell without Bowser's name on it? Didn't think it was possible. going. I need to start drifting here. All right. But yeah, if I can get the heavier characters out of the way, it means I can use the characters I'm a bit more comfortable with once we get to 150 in Mirror, which is definitely more difficult than even this is. 
Okay. Beach, out of here, please. Whoa. Green shell. Got it. Somehow he hit somebody with that, but I hit him with the green shell, so we're fine. All right, what do we get? Got it. Oh, no. Uh, why did I put that down? I don't know why in my head that was a blue shell, so let me just get my items down. Not quite the case. I mean, maybe I'm safer just chilling with the pack instead of being really far ahead of it, because I feel like I don't get bombarded by 30 blue shells if I'm just like not too far ahead of them. But if I'm like half a track away, all the crazy items come out at once. Difficult balance to strike though, for sure. I'm gonna pick up another item. Just get the drift in. Got it. Not bad, there it is, there it is. I put, oh, what? I dodged it? I have never seen that before. In Mario Kart Wii, I dodged a blue shell? What just happened? Whoa! I don't think I've ever dodged a blue shell in this game before in such a weird circumstance. See, that was so cool. All right, well, <laughs> I'm feeling really lucky right now. I'm gonna try to make the most out of it, even if we do get hit by a pal block. That was crazy. All right, come on. Keep it going. Got it. Hold this one out. Coming up to the end of this. If I don't get hit by another blue shell, I'll be really happy. All right, we're good. I can't believe it. A Mario Kart Wii blue shell dodge. I mean, I know that they're a lot more doable in Mario Kart 8, but that was just really interesting. Anyways, with 40 points in total, we're definitely a lot more in the lead now. If we can get a good finish for this next race, I think we'll be in the clear. All right, next race. So GameCube Mario Circuit. I love the Mario Circuit tracks. Or any just kind of character-based circuit is super fun. So I think we'll do pretty well here. Let's give it our best race and find out. So with this one. There we go. I might have started drifting too soon. No, I got it. No, uh, maybe I haven't. <laughs> it could have been better, could have been worse. Oh, uh, this turns a little scary. Watch out for the chain chomp. I've, yeah, hopefully learned my lesson from the first time we raced through this one. So far, so good. All right. Already building up a bit of a leap. How long can we keep that is the question. Not for very long if I do turns like that. Okay, gotta watch out for the Goombas, but I can hardly see anything. Go. Uh oh, uh oh. Got it, I blocked it. The POW block coming in. But we're still in the lead. I'm just putting this thing down straight away. Drift through this turn, this one's a bit scary, but we find our way through. Nothing to protect me from this red shell. It's fine. Immediately get back into a wheelie to speed ourselves up. Oh man, somehow I went right in between the items. Not what I wanted. Totally out in the open for anything to try to get us. Got it. Ugh, I keep taking a turn really. I don't know how I keep doing that. There we go. Ooh, that was super lucky actually. The way we bounced off of that, Turned out pretty well as we head into the last lap. It's a very, very fast track, but. Oh man, ooh, we're fine, we're fine. Just take this turn wide so I don't turn into Chain Chomp Lunch. Everybody gets struck by that lightning. So I'm not too worried about that. But I drift through here and I make sure I get the item this time. Triple banana is pretty nice. Really through all of this, just like that. Oh, I keep doing that. I keep on thinking I can make that turn a lot better than I end up doing it. Oh, Ooh, I can land right here, pick up that mushroom, and I hit the lip of the grass. That was not so good. Come on, come on, ready, boom, and then just throw everything down. <laughs> there we go, we win. So the first race we had was pretty bad, but everything following that, 
it was really good. So we got three wins in a row. I'll take that for sure. 55 points will definitely get us to win over Mario and Peach. So let's go see our little celebration. So for all of our hard work, we are cruising to the finish line here. Mario and Peach definitely put up some good competition throughout today's cups, so today's race so far. But it looks like Bowser steals the win today. He doesn't steal the princess, but he steals that victory for sure. He's dancing. He's really happy about it. Okay, so yet again, we get to the tippity top of the podium. Bowser's really happy about it. All right, so there we go. I don't think we'll get two stars this time, but we do get first place and the golden trophy. Yeah, just one star, but that is still overall really good. So there we go, the first cup of today, the uh, Leaf Cup is finished, and because of that, we get the 100cc Lightning Cup. And we've unlocked Dry Bones. Very cool character. All right, so with that done, we're not quite finished up. We're gonna hop right back into single player because we have more cups to tackle, or one more cup to tackle with more tracks inside of it. Of course, we'll go to the Grand Prix, 100cc, back to Bowser, and I've been saving this bike specifically for him. It's the Flame Runner. This thing is so cool. In terms of stats, it does handle a lot worse, but has a lot more speed to it. Same weight, better drifting, better mini turbo, not very good off-road, it's okay. Let's give this bike a try. It looks just like him. We'll go to manual and we will try the Lightning Cup with Mario Circuit 3, Peach Gardens, DK Mountain, and Bowser's Castle. So these are all pretty cool tracks. If I can get a good handle on this bike, I definitely think we can see some wins here. The problem is getting used to the bike. This might actually be, I keep talking about inside drifting bikes, and I know we're gonna be running into one eventually, but this might be one of them, we'll see. Got a good start trying to push King Boo out of the way. And yeah, this is an inside drifting one. So as you can see when I drift, it's a lot tighter. And that's not necessarily bad, but as you can see, it's a whole lot to get used to when I've been racing as bikes that don't do that. They turn super tight inwards, but we get a lot of speed out of them. And if you know how to make the most out of it, they can be really powerful bikes, for sure. Just like that. Because what's happening is like the bike is sort of skidding across the ground. Ooh, ready? Hey, move! Come on! Uh, there we go. Ooh, get the speed boost for sure. Blow up all the blooper ink with that one too. So cool. You just have to keep in mind, get out of here, Luigi! <laughs> how it drifts, how it works, and try to uh, turn accordingly. Got it. Okay. Not so bad, I need to wheelie through this part. Come on, come on, come on. Nice. I'm keeping this mushroom, I want that shortcut again. My favorite shortcuts. Something, you know, so nice but so simple about it. I'll use it to snag the first place. And we speed boost through here in a good position for the third lap. But can I get some items to protect myself or will the chaos start to happen as I run right into the pipe? I was trying to drift like it's a you know different kind of bike. Oh, blue shell not gonna hit me, right? Ooh, just barely avoiding the explosion. Let's get that. Drift like this, and then, ooh, I get a bob bomb in first place. That's not common. Gonna throw that back right away, because if I could just, yeah, manage to hit some people with it, I don't think I did, because <laughs> everybody got hit by lightning. Okay, gonna go ahead and wheelie through this way. No mushroom this time. That's okay, though. Just keep wheeling. Boom, and look at this, we get the first place finish on Mario Circuit. All right, just over two minutes for that one, 15 points, and we are looking really good for this Lightning Cup. Let's keep it going for the next race, see if we can win another. So Peach Gardens is definitely more of a complicated one, but I think we ha have it pretty well handled, right? All these chain chomps jumping around. There's definitely some tight turns where we can make the most out of this bike. I would love to hear your thoughts on it though. Have you tried any of the bikes that have sort of this more inside drifting style to them? And if so, do you think they're good? Do you prefer them? 
Or would you rather just sort of a more normal drifting style? Definitely need to really through it. Okay, Peach. I mean, I get it, it's your track and all. It's your backyard, basically. So you're probably really familiar with it, but... I feel like Bowser won't be too unfamiliar. He probably studies everything about Princess Peach's castle so he can know how to better attack it. There we go. Let's go ahead and wheelie through here. And as soon as I can, right about there. It's just all about getting used to gauging exactly when you should drift. I have a good feeling for that for a normal biking part situation, but for this, it's a whole lot different. But once you get used to that, it's so powerful. Okay, I didn't think that would kill all my speed. I'll put this one down right about now. Ooh, see, even that was a little too soon. I thought I was gonna be a little too late to cut that perfect. Okay, Daisy, baby Daisy, get out of here. Come on. Drift through here. If I can, that was close. Oh man. Oh, and I get a mushroom. Perfect spot for a mushroom, actually. I'm gonna get hit by the power block, but so did. Whoa, wait a minute. What? That was weird. I didn't lose any speed for that. Was it because we were going uphill? I don't know what the deal is with that one, but that was really good. No, no. Yeah. Nope. No. <laughs> Not gonna be able to dodge that one, obviously, but. Oh, I can dream. They're gonna catch up to me after all that, but. If everybody could stop bumping in, then I really appreciate it. <laughs> Come on. I need to definitely drift through here if possible. Got it, I at least. Okay, very fortunate that didn't hit me. We'll go into triple green shell mode here. Really through this part. And we get really good mini turbo, so, okay. It's important to drift and get those boosts as many times as possible. So we're going into the third lap here. We got Peach and Baby Daisy in front of us. It's weird that I think we've unlocked Baby Daisy before we unlock actual Daisy. Or I guess they're both actually Daisy, but one of them's fully grown. I'll throw that backwards. It didn't quite hit the princess. I don't know if I mentioned it too much yet, but I think with the bikes, um, certain characters do actually have different outfits. I think the only characters that do are Daisy, Peach, and Rosalina. So we'll definitely try to showcase that at some point. We couldn't before because we were playing as Peach with the car only 50cc. Go, go, go. That wasn't so bad. Oh my. Yeah, okay, wow, that actually got blocked off by something very fortunate for me. If I could just drift through here, wheelie through this one, boom, another first place finish. What do you think about that one, princess? Tearing up the course, tearing up the garden. All right, so 30 points, so we're halfway through this cup, let's keep going in the next race. So DK Mountain is our next one. Definitely a bit nervous for this track. Things can get really crazy with these turns, just with a normal drifting bike. This might be really difficult. But hey, I'm willing to try it. Didn't really get the best start there. I guess I was a little late with it. Good to know. Well, I got a mushroom though, that's not so bad. Don't know exactly where I wanna use it because I can just drift through that no problem. Got the big angry volcano. Oh my. I will just try to get through this as much as possible. Whoa. Got it. Uh oh, here comes that mushroom. Uh. Okay, <laughs> tried to get away from it. We'll just mushroom out of that. Yeah, just to keep as much speed as possible. And then, whoa, here we go. Boom, cool landing. Definitely want to drift through here. Got it. Oh, okay, I didn't realize the gap started there. Not good. Bowser seems pretty upset by it. Come on, pick up some speed again. That's the problem with a heavier rate character like this and a bike like this is that it's really hard to pick up that speed again. So when you guys knock me out like that, I'm in such a bad spot. So if I could just slowly but surely pick up that speed. Once we get to that top speed, though, we're hard to stop. 
I mean, I guess an item does stop us pretty easily, but I mean more so just barreling into other people. There we go. Don't hit that banana, thank you. We're in third place right now as we get to the top of this volcano. I think there's a good chance that if I don't fall off, I can catch up. I'll do a cool trick off of that one. Hold out that green shell as soon as possible. Don't hit that item. That was a false item block there. Princess Peach isn't too far from us now. She's gonna take the little half pipe, pipe jump, which good for when you need an item. Not good for when uh, you need to catch up. So I'll take that opportunity. Jump over the gap this time. Awesome, don't drift too soon. Here comes that red shell, I'm ready for it. Unfortunately, no other item after that though. So this is where things could go bad. Sometimes you can do tricks off these, but not really letting me this time. Final lap, oh, I don't have the item for it, wait! Oh, and the pal block before I can even get my item. That's a shame. Come on Bowser, get back up. And then start drifting. Okay, boosting all the way back up to the top of the volcano. This is our chance to win this. If we could just keep going here. Get myself a banana, definitely holding that out for as long as I can. Good landing. Oh no, all right. Not much I can do about that one. So this is where it might be good to, uh, guys, give me a chance here. I just need to, whoa, get launched up here. That does give me some speed back and a mushroom, which isn't so bad, but, oh my. Ooh, ooh, okay, wait, triple banana now. If I could just drift real well right here, cut in front of Baby Daisy, that was good. And then what we wanna do is I just wanna put some bananas down, make it more difficult for her to get across. She doesn't hit any of them, but that's okay, because we still won. <laughs> Bowser mocking everybody as he passes the finish line. Sorry. Bowser thing to do, right? 45 points in total. We have one more race to go here in 100cc, so let's finish it in style. Let's go to the next race. And what better course than Bowser's Castle? With Bowser himself as the last cup in the last track in this difficulty. All right. There we go, we're, we're zooming through pretty well to start with. I got a better start than the last race. You'd think that Bowser would be a bit impenetrable to the flames of his own statue, but I think that would still knock us out, so gotta be careful. Drifting through there. Womps are always a bit scary to deal with. Okay, just barely avoided disaster there. I uh, traded out one banana for a triple banana. It's also good. Definitely just want to, oh, there we go. Gotta go through the, the Bowser picture room. Got it. Building up a bit of a lead, but we know what happens when you build up a lead in this game. This spiral should allow me to get a lot of mini drifts out. So that's really nice. Throw out a couple of bananas, just for fun. Oh no. Oh, close one. Handle that turn super well, though. I'm gonna throw out another banana and then hold this one out. Ooh, there was a red shell coming for me, but that uh, that stopped it. Holding out quite well. I get a red shell this time. Hopefully, I won't need that. Bombs are catching that. They always slam down in the same spot, it seems. Go. I'm cruising through this at the moment. Oh man, oh man. Can the good times last? Here's hoping. It's all about the angling. Here's that blue shell, I was waiting for it. That's why I've been not so worried about you know keeping every item. Once we lose that speed, it's hard to get it back. I'm getting up here, do a little trick. I didn't get hit by the flames, which is great. 
Ow. Ooh, getting zapped. But so does everybody else. I'm just happy I didn't get zapped into the lava. That would have been a mess. We are still super far ahead. So if I can just grab myself an item here on this first turn of the last lap, we'll be good. Got it. I always wonder what the thwomp in the background did. He's like all locked up. What did he do? Uh oh, oh, okay, maybe it doesn't land at the same spot every time. It really does try to chase you. Okay. Ooh. Oh, free mushroom. Thank you very much. Oh man, whoa, a little bit too much speed actually. Through the picture room. Got it. Put that banana down. Just keep the drifts going. Awesome. Whoa. I think we got the win here, but let's just keep racing a good race just in case. Cause you never know in this game. I could just be hit by 15 blue shells right now, but we got it! Awesome! So Bowser with a super strong win. More than half a minute ahead of the competition there. That is crazy. Really good stuff, 60 points in total to finish off this cup and the entire difficulty in style. All right, let's see our victory. So, four more crazy races, this time winning every single one of them. Baby Daisy and Peach didn't stand a chance. That's great, so. Bowser are really racing quite well. We get to try out one of the different kinds of drifts here. Bowser, of course, riding a bike with his own face on it. Only Bowser could think of, of that idea. But here we go, for the last time in 100cc, we are reaching the tippity top of this podium. All right, let's get that golden trophy. A lightning cup. Golden first place, two stars, looking good. And I think it might play the credits here. If it does, I'm gonna skip them just because we've already seen them. Yeah, it does. So I'm gonna skip these just because we've seen them before. Well, we'll see them at the end, but congratulations. All right, do you want to send a commemorative photo to the Wii message board? Sure, even though I think we already did. We'll do it again. Please continue to enjoy Mario Kart Wii. I definitely will. And congratulations, you have a lot, Bowser Jr. Because we scored a star in the entire Retro Grand Prix 100cc. Oh, it does a star matter? Oh my, I wonder, because one of them I got an A rank, not a star. Maybe I gotta go back and get that. Either way, we get ourselves a brand new bike. Congratulations, you've unlocked a medium bike, the Zip Zip. That looks so cool. And because we won trophies in all cups in 100cc, congratulations, you can now play Grand Prix on 100cc carts and bikes. All right, so lots of rewards there for sure. So things are overall looking really good. If I were to double check in here, I think maybe there might've been something I missed because there was one cup I definitely didn't get a star finish on, right? Let me double check that. Because it's gave me a character for getting a star ranking on every, Retro, but I didn't get to start ranking on the special cup. Maybe I should just do that really quick right now. Just I'll cut to when I finish it, just so that I can make sure that I uh, get every character we can unlock so far right now. I guess I should have done that before. Okay, so I was able to get all of the stars I needed. You scored a star in the entire Wii Grand Prix 100cc, and now we get a medium bike, the Sneakster. Cool. So I'm glad I got that. Was there anything else? I guess not. Really good that I got that. I don't think there were any other cups that I missed a star in. I mean, that was obviously 100cc. Was there anything in 50 that I had missed? I guess now is like, you know, a good time to make sure. But um, as far as I know, yeah, we're good, we're in the clear. We got a star or better in every single, single cup so far, which means next time around, we'll finally be ready to tackle 150cc in the next episode of Mario Kart Wii. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.